What if you wanted to make $1,000 a month with automated trading systems? How would you do it? How would you build a portfolio that could actually achieve it? Is it realistic? What are the steps to do that? I'm gonna be talking about that in today's video, what I would do and the portfolio that I would design to make $1,000 per month. If you wanna learn more about automated trading or see some of the work that I do, see the links in the description below. My name is Jacob, let's get started on how to make $1,000 a month with automated trading systems. All right, so we're gonna hop over to the whiteboard here. First off, I know $1,000 a month is an arbitrary number. It seems kind of random. Maybe it's 5,000 for you, maybe it's 10,000, maybe it's 1%, 2%, whatever it may be. I just wanted to keep it simple in this video title, but you understand where I'm coming from. We are trying to look for more consistent returns on your portfolio. I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. And it's actually very simple um, than what you would may think. So before we get started, do not trade with capital. You can't lose, trading is risky. And my results that I show on my channel is not typical. Trading is very hard and it's very easy to lose money. It is hard to be successful, I want you to know that. But anyways, let's get started. So what we have here is a simple whiteboard, right? So $1,000 per month with trading systems. Is it possible? Yes. Here's my blueprint to kind of get started with it. Now, 1,000 per month is not a guarantee. I'm not guarantee you're gonna make $1,000 per month every single month for the rest of your life, right? I can never guarantee that. Trading is lumpy, uh, markets change every month. However, with these set, with the setup, you'll have higher success is what I'm trying to say. And you'll also have a system that you can follow. So what I would do for $1,000 per month, first of all, one trading system is not gonna cut it. You need a diversification. You need multiple uncorrelated systems. So I recommend trading four trading systems, okay? Uh, those four trading systems need to be in different markets. So maybe you have one trading system that trades NASDAQ futures, one trades gold, one trades oil, and one trades, let's say, Japanese yen, right? So four, four trading systems. How you build and test those trading systems, I talk about on my channel and with my online community as well. So if you wanna learn more about how to build those trading systems, please watch my other videos. So assuming we have four trading systems, right? So we want a portfolio monthly average profit of $4,000. So that's $1,000 per month on average per trading system, right? Four trading systems, $4,000 per month, you get the math, okay? And we need that to be higher than 1,000 because we need to ensure that we're hitting that at least 1,000 per month, right? So average it out, $4,000. All the trading systems must have less than a 20% correlation, all right? From my experience and results, no, no two systems should be more than 20% correlated, right? So all of them need to be less than 0.2 correlated. And how you would do that, you just take the daily profit of each trading system and run a correlation analysis in Excel. I've done this on my other videos. You can watch that as well on how to do correlation analysis. We need to make sure they're less than 20%. That's really important, okay? And once again, I gotta trade different markets. So I don't want four trading systems of NASDAQ or four, trade or four gold trading systems. They need to be on different markets. You need that diversification. With that being said, you could do it on four, on four, uh, or four trading systems on one single market. And as long as they're 20%, less than 20% correlated, you should be okay. But I'd recommend different markets, okay? Now here's the secret sauce on how to achieve this goal, right? How do you achieve this goal? You have, you just slap on a monthly trading, uh, a monthly profit target, right? Stop trading once you are above $1,000 for the month, right? So at the end of the day, if your account balance has made $1,000 for the month, you just stop trading for the rest of the month, right? And that's how you hit your goal, okay? Now the main kicker is, the main kicker, right? Yeah, you could just slap this monthly profit target on and let your systems trade and just stop trading the rest of the month once you hit the target. Obviously there's some weaknesses. What if you don't hit the target for the month, right? What if you trade and you don't hit $1,000 for the month? Then that's a weakness, right? And that's probably gonna happen. It may not happen the first month, may happen the 10th month, but that is a weakness, right? And this is where, you know, Having a, a monthly profit target, I think is great for most beginner traders and even expert traders, right? If you want consistent returns, you have to set that upside limit, either monthly, maybe quarterly or yearly. You would just set that, right? So the weakness is, yes, if it doesn't hit, right? And there may not be months where it doesn't hit and you have to accept that, okay? You have to accept that, all right, it may not hit. And now to hit my goal for next month, I have to, you know, it might take longer to hit that goal. But what I'm saying is that system the, the, the point that I'm trying to put across is that system of setting that monthly profit target is crucial because 
for anyone watching here, it shows that you have to use mathematical systems to be successful. Okay. So that's a weakness if you don't hit your target for the month. Okay. And I'm, I'm telling you the weakness is to be transparent with you because I know you won't hit it every month. The second weakness is you're cutting off the upside, right? What if you make 5k or 6k for the month, but you know, you stopped at 1000. So you missed out on four, $3,000 for the rest of the month that could happen as well. I'd say less unlikely, but it could happen as well. So when you set targets, right? Monthly targets, you are forfeiting some of the upside for that benefit of consistency, right? And that's a weakness you have to accept if you go through this route, right? Same with individual trading systems. If you've set a profit target on an individual trading system, you are saying that you're willing to forfeit some of the upside for that consistency, okay? Big trend days, right? If a trading system, you know, or if an instrument moves quite a bit in a single day and you have a profit target on it, right? You're only gonna get a piece of that, that pie, not the whole pie. And maybe that's, that's what you want. If your goal is to, you know, be more consistent in your returns, have a higher sharp or, you know, more consistent monthly average profit, then you need to accept that. So those are the two main weaknesses. You may not hit your target or you may forfeit on a lot of upside. But what are the benefits of this? So the benefit of this is you have an, a system, an automated system that you're following. So your discipline's there and you know that you could potentially make $12,000 a year from your trading systems, right? You have the system, you need to let it play out and that would be a benefit. You can forecast your returns. You can, you know, have a, I guess, uh, uh, an insight on how much you can make on a yearly basis, right? And with that, you could make decisions. You could size up, maybe do a 2000 profit target, 3000 profit target. But the key is you have a system that you can follow and you're not gambling. You're not um, overriding your systems. You're following your systems and you have that monthly profit target. Okay. The second benefit is obviously the consistency, right? You could make a thousand dollars per month, right? And, and have that consistency of those types of returns for you, which is maybe what you're looking for, right? That might be your goal. And I tell everybody, Hey, set goals before you start trading, set goals before you build automated trading systems. So you can follow that. Right. And I think for most people, a thousand dollars a month is a great goal to set. Okay. So that's how you do it, right? You build four trading systems. You have a monthly profit target of a thousand dollars. Okay. And if you hit that monthly average profit or monthly profit target, you would stop trading for the rest of the month. And then the next month restart those trading systems. Okay. So that is the formula on how to do it. Okay. And it may not work every month, but I think for the most part, it will work. And recently I've been using a monthly profit target for my trading systems and it's been working great. Okay. I tested it. I said, all right, what are the returns I'm looking for? I'm looking for this X amount of percent per month and I'll stop trading the rest of the month and I'll forfeit those, you know, potential upside. Okay. And usually the consistency is more important than trying to make every single dollar of trading. Cause usually if you're trying to make every single dollar of trading, your, the volatility of your portfolios is usually too high for most to handle. Some people can handle it. Most people can't. So that's how you do it. You set a monthly profit target of a thousand dollars. Maybe I'll make a separate video on how to automate that, but to manually do it, basically you look at your account balance every day. And once it's up a thousand dollars for the month, you would just turn off your trading systems for the rest of the month and then start anew the next month. Okay. There's so much more to talk about on how to build those trading systems. Obviously you could probably do it with one or two trading systems or 10 trading systems. Uh, you would have to test your portfolio and see if you can basically you need a monthly average profit of more than a thousand dollars to, to hit this. Um, but definitely you want to be trading different markets and I would say at least more than one trading system to hit that goal. But there's so much more we could talk about on how to build those trading systems. If you want to learn more about how to build good trading systems, see the links in the description below. I won't talk about it in this video, but there is quite a bit more to talk about and how to build good trading systems. I just wanted to, to, you know, once again, reinforce the fact of having a system of that monthly profit target system and having different markets and, and a relatively low correlation. So that's the video guys. Appreciate all of you. Let me know in the comments below if this helped, if you found value in this and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.